Um, hi, my name is Ahmed, and uh, this is a video on operations management or operations research, or it's also called management science. Um, but I'm going to show you the concept of linear programming and um, in operations um, research. And um, what do you what you learn in uh, operations uh, management research is that problems and words coming out of your mouth can actually be turned into into algebraic equations and then um, solved, you know. So here's a fun problem that uh, I came up with. The um, uh, let's say uh, every time you go to the bar, you spend ten dollars, and every time you go to the club, you spend twenty dollars, um, and every time you go to the bar, you get three numbers from let's say girls, and um, every time you go to the club, you get about seven numbers. So, what if um, you wanted to maximize the num the amount of numbers you get, and um, that that's exactly what you do in operations management is you maximize or minimize your cost, or you maximize or minimize um, uh, your numbers or whatever amount um, you want. So let's say I want to maximize. So this is how you write the problem, uh, max 3x plus 7y. All right, and um, let's say that you only have $200 a month that you want to spend on going out. So, so what you're actually saying when you say that you only have $200 a month to spend is 10 at ten dollars x which is the cost of the bar plus twenty dollars y oh, dollar symbol uh, y is equal to or is less than or equal to two hundred dollars because you can only spend less than or equal to two hundred dollars and let's say less than two hundred dollars all right and now let's say that um you want to make sure that you go out to the club at least five times in a month so let's just say um, you that's actually y is greater than 5. Wanna club All right? And if you say that, you know, you kind of get annoyed with bars and you want to go to the bars, um, you, you don't want to go more than 10 times in a month. So you would put X is less than or equal to 10. And right, don't want to, right? And, um, Let's add one last uh, constraint or condition. Um, let's say that you want to make sure that you go out at least 10 times in a month. So that would just be x plus y is greater than 10. So at least. 10 times all right um so there you have it that's um that's your equation right there if you say that um you want to maximize the amount of numbers you get three and seven um you write max 3x plus 7y and if you say that you only have 200 dollars to spend you're actually saying 10x plus 20y is less than $200. And um, 
if you're saying that you want to club at least five times in a month, you're saying Y is greater than five. And if you say that you don't want to go to the uh, to the bars more than 10 times a month, uh, you're saying X has to be less than 10. And if you're saying you want to go out to a bar or a, cl or a club at least 10 times in a month, you're actually saying X plus Y is greater than or equal to 10. All right, now let's see how we can plot this. Um, these two are very simple to plot. Um, they're just going to be um, straight lines. Um, y is 5, so Y is going to be 5 right here. Um, let me choose a skinnier line. All right, um, so Y is 5. And put little arrows. And let's write it here so we don't forget y is equal to 5. Alright, now our other line, x is equal to 10. Alright, and um this is less than or equal to 10, so you have to put arrows inside the arrows telling you which direction to go to so you know the answer is going to be in this direction of the of this arrow and not over here somewhere so and x is greater than five so this is greater than it'll be higher the exact way to do it is to find a point from here and to plot it into here and make sure it's a valid um outcome but this works too um almost as well um so all right now let's find the points for our remaining two constraints which were um 10x plus 20y is less than or equal to 200 and x plus y is less than or equal to 10. this one is easy to calculate because when when x is 0, uh, y is 10. And when y is 0, x is 10. Um, so that's pretty simple to plot. So that'll just be a dot right here and a dot right here and then a line that goes through here. All right? Put our arrow. All right, let's label this as x plus y is, I don't see, greater than or equal to, um, it's fine, um, is equal to 10. And x is equal to 10. And um, right. Oh, and this has an arrow pointing upwards since it's greater than or equal to um, right here. Um, all right. Now the final constraint that we have, which is that we can only spend two hundred dollars. So now let's calculate that. Let me erase this scratch work and get a brush all right okay so let's figure this out um all right when x is zero y is 200 divided by 20 which is 10 and when y is zero x is 200 divided by 10 which is 20 that's kind of high let's keep it in the graph um when x is 5 which is 20 times 5 is uh, 100 minus the 200 so you only have 100 left and then uh that divided by 10 which is 10 okay so yeah then we can use these two points 
right here. Um, this one and this one to get on the graph. Um, all right, so x is 0, y is 10, same point here, and when x is 10, y is 5, so this point here, all right, and it will give us a triangle here. That's good enough. <laughs> Make our little arrow. Label this 10x plus 20y is equal to $200. So, as you can see, and this one is, this last one is less than or equal to, so this arrow points down, and, you know, as you know, this one points up, and this one also points up, so the, the, the correct answer that satisfies all of our constraints is in this triangle right here. And these corners right here are the extreme points where you will find um, the best answers. Um, and um, you want to get the highest answer. And to achieve the optimum answer, you can graph this uh, optimal function and uh, line it up and bring it up as close as you can to the highest point um, here. And um, that should be your answer. But let's calculate um, our extreme points, um, which should be fun. Um, let's make some space here. And all right, so our extreme points are here, which is 0 and 10. And this one, which is um, 10 and 5, is the y-axis. And this third one, which is um, 5 and 5. All right, uh, and so these are our three points, uh, 0, 10, 10, 5, 5, and 5, 5. And we can plug them into our objective function, which is 3x plus 7y to get our results. Um, so let's do um, 3 times um, our highest extreme point, which is 0 plus 7 times 10 and we, we will get 70 numbers at this point and our cost will be um, it'll be 0 plus $10 times the cost 20 and it'll cost us the two the whole $200 all right, now let's see the second point here. Um, point number two, so that'll be um, 10, five, this one. Um, that'll be three times 10 plus seven times five, which is um, 35 plus 30, 
which will be um, um, 65 numbers. And let's see how much you will be spending. Oh, that'll be um, the bar cost ten dollars. Plus um, five times the twenty, and you will be using up the whole two hundred dollars. And our final extreme point, which is this lowest one, which will be five um, times going to the bar for ten dollars and five times going to the club for twenty dollars which will cost us a hundred and fifty dollars so it won't we'll save fifty dollars with this option but five times three plus five times seven that'll only be 35 plus 15 numbers that we're gonna get so that'll be 50 numbers All right and so these are your options um, you can either get 70 numbers by going to the club 10 times and the bar 0 times or you can get 65 numbers by going to the bar 10 times and the club 5 times or you can only get 50 numbers if you go to the bar 5 times and the club 5 times but you would save $50 but if you want to maximize your uh, the amount of numbers you get your best bet is between these two extreme points this one and this one somewhere between this line um, between going in the club 10 times and the bar 0 times and between going to the bar 10 times and the club 5 times so yep, going um, to the club as much as possible in this problem um, and the bar as little as possible is the secret to maximizing the amount of numbers you get. Um, so that's the problem and um, you might come up with different statistics and um, a different result but these were just some made up statistics by me. Um, Alright, thanks.